All right, I got a lot of questions about downscan. Uh, do you really need it if you have you know good sonar, especially chirp sonar? And I still use it. It's it's really great for things like this. You can see this on the bottom. Yeah, you know, and if you're a cat fisherman, you know, I've seen catfish look just like that when they're sitting on the bottom sometimes. So it can be confusing. You're not sure what that is. But if you look over here on the down scan, you can see it's clearly a stump connected to the bottom. So that's one really good use for down scan right there. You know, if you're throwing a cast net, sometimes you'll look at what looks like a perfect school of shad, just a big bunch on the bottom. And then you look on your down scan and see it's actually a tree. And I remember years and years ago netting many trees before there was down scan and side scan. So pretty good right there. Here's another example here why down scan is so good. You can see it looks like just a brush on the bottom and it's actually a school of bait. You're so close to the bottom it looks like it is part of the bottom, right? It looks like that stump we just looked at a little while ago. But if you look it's just two schools of bait. All right, there you go. We were just talking about this. It's, I know it's not a big bush or anything, but you can see that dead tree. You know, it's standing to nine foot down and 16, 17 feet of water. So you can see how tall that tree is sticking off the bottom. And that's what it looks like on regular sonar, 2D sonar. In my life, years ago, I have thrown cast nets on stuff like that. <laughs> I have lost come nets. Up here, David. I admit it. So here you go. Is it on the bottom? Is it not? Is it a catfish? Is it a stump? It is a fish. You see the separation. Not a very big fish, but it is a fish. Maybe he's got some brothers or cousins. All right. Show of hands. How many people would throw a cast net on that? Be honest. I've done it. Not recently, but I've done it. All right, guys, I'm going to run through a few shots here. These shots will kind of show you how it's so important to run both your down scan and your 2D sonar. And I want to show you here what you get from each. I'm going to try to go a little quick here between each one. If you look there on the left on our 2D sonar, that's the one in the colors. Just a big stack of fish, lots of good looking fish there underneath the boat. Look over to your down scan over there, and it's not just fish, it's a big pile of rocks. But because those fish were so close together and there's so many of them, they actually obstructed the view of those rocks on the 2D side over there. So you can really see how, how having both panels up really can benefit. All right, I'm going to move on to the next one here. Hey, guys, please uh, shoot a like and a comment on here. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. It really does help me out, and I can bring you more of these videos. So uh, let's keep going. Let's look at the next shot. Here's a good one. If you look at our 2D sonar here on the right, looks like a pile, maybe a brush pile. Look over on our down scan, and it is clearly a massive fish. Good to throw the cast net there because you're down scan. But if you had just had the 2D, I don't know if I'd throw on that. That looks an awful lot like a tree. You don't want to lose your net. Here's another look at the one we saw earlier in the video. 2D shows it. Might be a stack of fish, might be a stack of bait fish, not sure. And down scan clearly shows it's a tree. Here's another cool one showing a tree, the difference of what it looks like on 2D versus down scan. This is a little bit of an older shot that I took on your left here, the color that's your 2D sonar. Could be anything in there, right? I do see some marks that look like fish, but all those stacked up returns that go all the way connect to the bottom, that could mean it's brush. Look over on our down scan. Not only do we see a nice tree here, but look at all the fish that are hanging in that tree. And if you look to the section with the blue circle, those are two catfish sitting right there. That down scan is awfully good at showing the details where 2D just can't do it sometimes. You're not going to get the same resolution on 2D, but we need both. There's no way I would ever use one over the other. One is best for showing fish. One is best for showing structure. And it's really cool that you can actually see the shape of those catfish in that blue circle right there. You can see their distended bellies. They're facing to the right. Just a really cool shot. You got all your fish surrounded that tree. Just fantastic. But you can see, if you're looking at this one, you can see the benefit of having both down scan and your 2D running at the same time. This is a really neat one. Look over here at the 2D sonar. If you look to the right where the A-scope is, all that mass that's being marked is connected to the bottom. So if I didn't have down scan, I would be 
scared to throw a cast net there because being all that mass is connected all the way to the bottom like that it looks like it could be a tree look over in our down scan you can see all the bait are actually not connected to the bottom and you can see through the cast net there i was uh, confident there was no bush there because i saw that pile of fish there on the down scan and you can see the net actually going around and catching those uh, bait fish as it's falling you can see the, the ring there of the lead line has a cool shot here's another neat one here if you look over to the right at our 2d we see a pile of fish and underneath them i don't know are those fish close to the bottom catfish something hugging close to the bottom uh, being it's connected to the bottom i have an idea that it's probably stumps or something you know piece of structure not fish but you know some of those arches are pretty close to the bottom they look like they could be either and over there on our down scan we can clearly see the difference between the two sets of returns so we got all those suspended fish up there and below it it's clearly some kind of stumps or some kind of timber connected to the bottom it actually turned out that this was an old railroad bed here with just some of the timbers rotting away look at this one here we'll start with our 2d if you look to the right there in the a scope again is that a bush is it a school of bait it's a big muddled mass we're not sure we can clearly see the arches there are definitely big fish in there eating is that a bush though look to our right on down scan we can still see the returns of the fish moving around but now we know it's not a bush we can see it's a school of bait fish and on both panels there you can see both the bait and the feeding fish but look how many more fish is shown on the 2d versus down scan so you know one isn't perfect between the two you really get everything that you really need it's a good shot all right on this one here look over here to the left on the down scan i didn't let it play long enough before i hit the screenshot so i missed some but if you look right below the number 10 you'll see that's a stick right there that's a branch of a tree coming up and if you look over there on the 2d it looks like arches right it just looks like you know some good marks of fish but that down scan is clearly showing that we're about to go over a tree right there in this shot here the 2d sonar is actually showing us a little more than the down scan if you look at our down scan to the right man that's a mess of bait and i don't know if you noticed but below the bottom return there on that side scan below the bottom you'll see that school of bait even further below that that's because that uh down scan does a really nice job of actually showing the foreground too as well so you can see how that big school of bait fish is just kind of curled around and if you look over to the 2d we don't see that on the 2d we only get that you know two-dimensional kind of image and uh look at all those fish in there those are stripers eating on that bait and it doesn't show up on down scan you know we see the bait but outside of a few little marks here you know you really don't see any fish in there but with the 2d it is crystal clear that those are stripers in there eating on that bait here's a cool one if you look there on our 2d you can see it looks like there might be some fish in there we see some small arches and a lot of noise going on there and if you look over to the left on our down scan it just looks like a whole mess of particles we really can't pick any fish out really quick i guess if you slow down and really looked you can kind of pick them out but at first glance that looks like just a bunch of particles in the water over there on a 2d we can see there are actually fish marked in there now if you look again to the left all that particulate there's a in salt water you'll see this a lot you'll see kind of a line in the middle of the screen on down scan or your 2d and what that is sometimes in salt water the saltier water the water with more salinity will will sink it'll go down it's more dense up top is more fresh water so even especially if you need like a river mouth or something where the two waters mix fresh and salt you'll see this a lot all the little particles that uh, won't stay afloat in fresh water that tend to sink sometimes they'll sink down and actually stop sinking because they're floating on top of that salt water that's down there so these particles will sink in that fresh water but they won't sink in that salt water because it's more dense it's a pretty cool little shot there it's called a picnocline here's another cool one of the railroad tracks on our 2d you can see the timbers right there and you can see some fish suspended really close to those timbers just hanging out those little arches and if you look over here on down scan those uh timbers really show up nice and if you look close you can see a couple dots in there those are the fish hanging right there and it's kind of interesting that the fish are hanging on those timbers where that drop off is and not all the way to the right where it's just those uh timbers on a big flat section uh, thank you guys for watching please uh give me a like there if you like the video 
you know, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. It really, really helps. It only takes a couple seconds and uh, it allows me to keep making more and more videos like this. Please comment if you want to see uh, some other stuff with my down scan or side scan, 2D, whatever, anything on sonar. I'd be happy to post up and show you what I think of the shots, what I think I'm seeing. Uh, Patreon, we have a Patreon account too if you want to check that out. We got some really cool uh, perks. You'll see some, you know, behind the scenes stuff of us goofing off and just being silly and, and all that nonsense. But I also share some really cool stuff that I don't share all the time here. So uh, stuff like where we're fishing, when we're fishing and all that good stuff. And it really helps us bring you guys more videos. Love you guys. Mean it.